As attendees of the BPS 2025 annual meeting in Los Angeles, consider this your chance to not only catch trailers of the next research blockbuster, but also to see the latest episode in the ever-expanding Biophysical Society universe. Joining us now are Dr. Christopher Yip and Dr. Suda Shakrapani, the 2025 program chairs, with more on what's in store. Suda. Christopher, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Hey. So, Sud, I want to start off with you. What would you say, you know, in planning something like this that you really want to focus on offering for the attendees? Yeah, I mean, let me start off by saying that Chris and I are regulars here. Uh, we have attended this meeting since we were in grad school, right? So it's been several decades now. <laughs> right? So what we've come to appreciate is really the interdisciplinary nature of this meeting, the breadth of fields that come under the biophysics umbrella. And this is a pretty large meeting of 4,000 plus attendees. So it's sort of has to cater to the needs of this large um, group of attendees. Um, so as we started to plan this meeting, um, a program goal for us was uh, to include, I mean, it has to be a combination of sessions that are classics, well-represented fields, but also to bring in new and emerging areas. Yeah, there's really a chance to you know, keep some of the same, but bring in more of the new. And it's really an opportunity for us to showcase emerging tools, but then apply them to long-standing challenges. And that's really the, the, the gist of this meeting, is that opportunity to bring people together and, and uh, just have this amazing collaborative experience. So the sessions, the symposia is back. What is a new highlight that you're most excited about? One thing that stood out is to um, emphasize on the latest technologies, on how do we integrate uh, different complementary approaches, and how does these um, technologies come together to address fundamental questions in biology. Um, so throughout the meeting and in programs, what you will see is technologies, their integration into fundamental questions and systems. So that's kind of the theme that runs through most of the uh, symposium and workshops that you'll see today. Yeah, I think it's a chance for uh, someone like myself who's a kind of an instrument person uh, to come showcase some of the new things that we've been doing in our lab but then it's about mixing and, and finding a lab in a different area, a different country that's saying, has this challenge and you realize here's an opportunity for us to, to showcase these technologies and how can you apply it to different areas. And that's really what this meeting is so, uh, so engaging. It's a chance for people to come in, drop into a session, hear about a technique that's being used in a completely different field and realize, wow, I could take that. Let, let's have a sit down and have a coffee. Let's chat about that opportunity. But you're only going to get that when you uh, develop workshops, develop opportunities for people to, to see what's going on. There are so many exciting sessions. Talk about information overload. Exactly. What do you want attendees to take away overall from this whole experience? <laughs> well, it is over overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to keep up with the Marvel Universe. I think one of the challenges really is uh, take advantage of these opportunities. Go to the sessions. Uh, go to the posters. Um, take that opportunity to wander through every single poster and see what's going on. Um, experience uh, the different symposia drop into different lectures, um, yeah, talk to the vendors as well. This is, it's really what that meeting's about. Yeah, and I think uh, our trainees and, you know, they should go away with uh, an appreciation for how broad biophysics is and its application and pick up something new that they, they didn't know before existed. And so, we, and, you know, we have those connections uh, that goes back, uh, as we said, several decades. We really want our trainees to feel that. And also this is, has been a fertile ground for these collaborations, not across, not just across disciplines, but also across geographic boundaries, right? So we meet our colleagues, even though this is happening in the US, it's an international meeting. So we have people from all over the world coming here. So this is that opportunity to sit, have coffee, as yeah. Chris was pointing out, and to have these conversations and go back, um, you know, rewire yourself in terms of how you do science and, you know, and yeah. so I think, this is amazing um, science, and you know we want our trainees to take away that from here. Well, we're merging worlds here, right? right? In Los Angeles, the home of cinematic blockbusters. I would be interested in knowing what are some of the blockbusters in the biophysical arena. Oh, there's there's <laughs> lots. I think I think we've got we've got amazing sessions coming out in, in multi-scale approaches uh, to addressing biological problems. We've got drug discovery and AI that's coming in. Um, obviously, are things like our classics, like our national lecture, um, but there's also, I think, for me, one of the best parts of this meeting is a chance to hear what's coming out from, from new researchers. Uh, the undergraduate symposium, actually, I would argue, is a great blockbuster because that's the, 
that's the seed for the next generation of researchers and scientists and engineers in these spaces. They're the ones driving the frontiers. Um, as Sue was mentioning, we've been here for, for decades and we've seen our own evolution as scientists going forward. What we've learned from the meeting, we every year we come back, um, I'm gonna use another tagline, inspired and tired. Um, from this meeting, like right? We come away, it's it's four or five days of intense science, intense conversations. We're tired, but we're also inspired by what is going on. And I think that's really what the, you know, the whole meeting is about Blockbuster, frankly. Uh, every single session I go to, there's always something I come away from, which is uh, really pushes me to think about what how I could drive uh, those technologies in my own labs and ask questions. Yeah, absolutely. And the talks are going to be given by established leaders in the field and rising stars. So it's sort of a nice mix of that generation. Um, so we are very much looking forward to it. So. Thank you, Suda Christopher. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah.